three ways to urgently decompress the chest. You need to have the indication, the inclination, a large bore cannula that's 90 to 120 centimeters long, or a scalpel. It's indicated when you clinically diagnose a tension pneumothorax or suspect it in major chest trauma in peri-arrest. You may have chest pain, tachypnea, tachycardia, hypertension, hyperresonance and decreased breath sounds, but you can't rely on any or one of these signs. First way, find the second intercostal space at the midclavicular line. That's traditionally horizontally across from the angle of Louis or the sternomanubrial junction in the midclavicular line. We go above the rib below because on the deep inferior aspect of the ribs lies the vascular bundle. The quick way to find that place is anteriorly by placing two fingers under the midclavicular point and below that is the second space. The urgent thoracostomy is done in the fifth intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. We find the fifth space by counting down from the second IC space, which is the first one you feel. Then three, four, five, and run around. In the obese, you can usually get a close guess. It is done by cutting down through the skin and soft tissue and pushing through the intercostal muscle with the large curved forceps. With tension, you will often hear a hiss of air, but that's not always the case in a busy resuscitation. To summarise, standard cannulas anteriorly 50% of the time will be too short. Have long ones, 90 to 120 millimetres. The short ones, if you've only got those, may work better in the anterior axillary line. Pre-hospitally, we use the thoracostomy and it works. It can be used in hospital and then go on to place the chest drain.